Okay, we have a science experiment to do. There's this theory that discs fly different at different temperatures. So for example, if you leave your bag in the car all the time, which is what I do, in the summertime, your discs get very hot, gummy, and therefore are more flippy. And then in the wintertime, your discs get hard as a rock and become more stable. So I've been told. We're about to put that to the test. Oh, I need to get this cleaned up. Okay, I need two discs that are the same. We got our two. Okay, so I have two Innova made S-Line DD3s. Both are almost the same weight. This is 172, the red one is 174. They're both room temperature now, so let's see how they fly. Okay, now we can go. It's free Wi-Fi, but don't you dare try to get any water. Okay, we're at the driving range. I've got both of these. These are at about 74 degrees each. And if you're wondering, Nate, how are you gonna be able to maintain the temperature? Your boy's got a heat gun. Why is there gotta be a train? All right, I'm gonna rip these about five times each. See the average distance and the average flight. All right, so just threw these about three times each. The blue one was going a little bit farther, about 20 feet farther each time. This ended up averaging 390 feet, where this one is about 370 on 75% power at a hyzer angle. So now we're gonna go heat these and cool these down. That one's cooling down, we can warm up the other one. I guess all we can do now is wait. Already some actual ice in here. Perfect. That'll keep it cool. All right, let's check it out. No, no I'm just kidding. This thing is gummy. Oh my. Y'all hear that? This thing is gummy. How hot, how hot is it? Perfect. All right, we're ready to go. What am I doing with my life? Dude, watch this be the hack to getting like 100 feet of extra distance. Okay, moment of truth. Honestly, that looked like the same exact flight. This dude is definitely stiff. Goodness. All right, let's see if this is any more stable. It didn't flip the flat, but... All right, these were practically next to each other, both at 383 feet. So 10 feet less, 10 feet farther. I'm a, two more times, I'm gonna throw them two more times. All right, another try. That one might have had a little turn, maybe a little turn. 30, 32.6. There's definitely no denying the feeling. I mean, this one's hard as ice and the other one's just floppy. Threw that one low, but didn't even show any signs of going flat. 363, 408. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, okay, I obviously didn't get this high enough, but watch this be the new power move. People start pulling up to long distance competition, cooking their discs up like a brisket, and then just freaking launching it. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna, do, I'm gonna do one more shot. Okay, last chance. I can't get over how gummy this is, dude. He's... It looks like it's trying to turn. I don't know, man.
make sure there's no grip issues. Keep in mind, this isn't the most perfect of science experiments. I could have thrown that at 78% power. Y'all are gonna have to decide on this one. <laughs> All right, so the final distance on that, we had this at 384 and this one at 381, making the average 395 and 375. So they practically switched. I don't know though. I'm not a scientist. However, if you see somebody at the next long distance competition pulling up with a grill, all I'm saying. <laughs>